My name is Dr. Bill Haller, and I'm the director of the Center for Aquatic and Invasive Plants at the University of Florida. Uh, and a lot of people ask uh, me and, and others uh, why we manage uh, aquatic plants in Florida, and we particularly manage invasive uh, aquatic plants, of course. The problem with invasive species uh, is that many of the aquatic uh, uh, plants that we've introduced are very aggressive. They found uh, an excellent habitat to grow in in our lakes and rivers. Uh, Aquatic plants uh, crowd out native species and reduce biodiversity. Uh, we've had problems when we've had a lot of rainfall and uh, invasive plants pile up against flood control structures and bridges even, uh, hinder recreation. People can't get out in their boats and fish and swim. Uh, becomes pretty irritating uh, uh, when the plants are that dense. In Florida, the worst uh, invasive aquatic weeds that we have is the water hyacinth and hydrilla. Hydrilla is particularly a problem because it's a submerged plant, grows in the water column, at the bottom of the water column, all the way to the water surface, and actually has a lower light requirement than most of our native species. And it really outcompetes a lot of submerged plants uh, and reduces the biodiversity in a lake. And it also grows out in deeper water than our native plants can grow in. Hydrilla was introduced by the aquarium trade in the 1950s and uh, spread rapidly throughout Florida and now is pretty much throughout most areas of the United States. Florida has a long history of managing invasive aquatic plants, beginning with the water hyacinth in the mid to late 1890s. And the Corps of Engineers was charged actually uh, with maintaining uh, and keeping navigable waters free of obstruction. So they started doing a lot of research and mechanical removal and harvesting and uh, cutting and shredding of water hyacinths in the St. John's River in, uh, in the early 1900s. We try to manage the plants and research and development has shown us that if we do maintain them at low levels, we can maintain a balance between the natural resources and the users of the water bodies, whether they're uh, fishermen, water skiers, flood control canals, or, uh, or even navigable rivers. It's very difficult to eradicate any invasive species. And so we have kind of, uh, through research and development, figured out that the best means to manage aquatic plants is to, is to keep them under maintenance control. And that is to kind of keep them under control at, at low levels. Uh, you're out there frequently. Uh, you're either spraying or removing a few plants at a time. Uh, people hardly know you've been there. And you keep on top of it. We do think that maintenance control uh, through the research and development our experience is the way to go, uh, particularly on the uh, most invasive of our plants. Uh, and prevention is very important too. So we're very concerned about new plants coming in. So uh, if you're on the internet and you're buying plants for your water garden or something, keep them away from our natural water bodies because we're not really sure what our next uh, invasive plants might be.